what you see here is obvious. It's RAM. Different types of RAM. BGA chips, bulk grid assembly. If I remember the numbers correctly, and if I don't, if I get this wrong, I will correct myself. But I do believe one kilo of these chips is three grams of gold. I do believe it's three grams per kilo. It takes a little bit to get a kilo of these things. Now, these are flat packs. If I ain't mistaken, and I will correct myself if I am wrong. It's one gram of gold, one gram of gold per kilo. I've got uh, 200 grams of these on eBay for 10 measly dollars, and nobody will touch them. So, the object here, or the lesson, or the goal, can you make a profit off of what you see here? This is one bat. This is one buy, one pound for a certain price. We will mention the price at the end because. I am skeptical. I don't think you can, you're going to make a profit. Now, we've done some experiments in the past. And we've harvested our gold fulls. This is an experiment with 200 grams of, of gold fingers. Different types, RAM and server. We have I did not video this because I didn't want to. I just wanted to get it done. So 200 grams. I have 1.1 grams here of gold fools. Test it out to be 20k, just like the other one. And I have the last little bit right here that we are. Uh, we see the gold fools that we're going to harvest. We got a 95%. Okay, recovery, which took forever. This was not a, uh, a race. Okay, I didn't want to see if I could get it all done in less than 24 hours or blah, blah, blah. I wanted to do it right. We're seeing if we can make a profit because I bought 200 grams of these gold fingers at a certain price. This is going to be close. This is going to be real close. Real close. Because I can safely say this is 20 karat gold. And, uh, you know, the, it's, uh, the, the price is the price of gold is the price of gold. So... We're going to process these for the chips. I'm not going to process these these here, these flat packs. I'm, I'm just not going to do it. Nobody wants them. Nobody buy them. So we're going to start this off. Can you make a profit? Can you do it? We're cutting these really close. Because if you can see this roll of... If you can see this roll right here on the end, right here, of uh, well, those resistors, of SMT surface mount resistors. You got to cut on the other side of those resistors. Do not cut on the BGA side. And say, well, it'll be all right. You know, I'll just include them in my batch. And, uh, they ain't gonna hurt nothing. Ah, well, the tin and the solder that's included with these things will give you nightmares cleaning up. The goop, the goo, as I call it. All right. There's 25.2 grams of ram gold fingers. These chips we're going to extract, and we can total up how many of these sticks we need for a thousand grams. I sold 500 grams of these BGA chips. Right at fifty or well, fifty-five dollars on Sleaze Bay, eBay. And so I know they went quick too. So I know that uh, you'll get that out of them. It's about ten dollars, fifteen dollars under spot if you do the math. We're not going to process these chips. We're just going to sell them. Let somebody else deal with the mess because it is a messy process. All right, I'm going to show you my BGA chip harvesting apparatus. This is a heat sink from an old school CB linear amplifier. These fins are quite handy. Just set the ram down in it. A floor scraper from Lowe's. Place on chips. This is not tied down. Okay, so it's probably going to go flying everywhere. 
And uh, just take a hammer, whap, and the chips come flying off. It's that simple. I mean, it really does work. Well, it looks like it took 15 seconds. Chips are gone. And there's our chips. Now, chips, okay, we should expect 44.55 grams out of 16.5 sticks. Now, that's expected. There'll be some with 16, some with 8. You just have to wait and see. Okay. You would have to buy, we can already tell, you would have to buy 10 times uh, roughly 175 sticks to get to your 500 grams of BGA chips where you could sell, you know, you could sell them easily. They'll go in minutes on eBay. You know, I sold them for 50 bucks. So they'll go anywhere between probably 40 and 60 dollars. 60 on a good day, 40 on a bad day. So you can't get 175 sticks for 40 bucks. I mean, that would be, you know, if you could get them for 50 cents a piece, you're doing great. We know we got from previous experiments 0.3 grams of gold foils each. It was consistent. So we should expect the same consistency of 0.3 grams of foils. I tested out the uh, 20K. All right. There's a little stir bar working there. I guess I should tell you the uh, ratios here with this one. We had to cook up a smaller batch, so we used uh, 250 milliliters of white vinegar. Okay. We used uh, uh, 30 grams of non-iodized sea salt. And I added 50 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. Day two. Oh boy, they go for another hour. There's a lot of gold foils in there. We want to have a hoopty update. We got a new member, new family member in the hoopty fleet. Just a keeper. I'll show you that in a second. Holy moly, really bright out there. There's that little bastard. Little bastard responsible for this. See those little paw prints? Yeah, cuddly little. All right, well, they haven't been back on it since I washed it. This is getting old, Jack. Real quick. I'm not going to murder a feline for calling on my car, but I will sure spray it in the face with vinegar. Yeah, all well, you animal lovers, kiss my... Chaja. It's a fast mother. And there's the new addition. Look at that beautiful tree. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep it. You know, it looks like a little guppy fish in the front. But it's got some good lines. I want to do something with these rims, these wheels. I'm starting to put my flare on it. As you can tell, put that sticker on it today. It's actually pretty clean. It's a clutch. Got that coming. I have no money in this. What's so stinking ever? Six speed manual, six cylinder. I'm going to crank this sucker up for about 250 horsepower. Might stick NOS on it. Not sure yet. Definitely going to put a big system. Boom, boom, boom. All that good stuff. Yeah, that'll work. That's why I'm gonna keep her. All right. We're gonna do a first filtration on this. We're gonna kill this thing and filter it out. So we'll see what we got on the first filtration. I'm actually quite impressed with that 24 hour yield. It was about normal. I did that last uh, dose of HP. It really stripped us off. So we're gonna mix up a new batch. That's what we got so far. It looks a little thin. But we're about 60%, maybe even more. Yeah, we'll put the heater on this and let's get us, uh, let's harvest this tonight and get it weighed. And then uh, get this back on the back of the juice. All right. Okay, that's for the second harvest. That's pathetic. Yeah, well, we're going to go... Kind of getting out of time here. We went ahead and harvested that first batch last night. I got hit in the vial already. And I think it measured out to 0.2 grams. So I highly doubt this is going to be... 
keep us on track with our average of 0.3 grams per 25 grams of gold figures. Maybe. We'll see. But that's a pretty pathetic second yield. There was nothing left. It was 100% recovery. It's not looking good. Can you make money? So far, not looking good at all. But we'll see. All right, we'll go. All right, we got that last little bit. New 7.4. 0.2 grams. This bottle weighs 7.2 grams with the cap. So we ended up with 0.2 grams yield from that 25 grams of goat finger. We had the yields of these experiments. How much gold are you going to get out of 0.3 grams? With this stuff, not much. <laughs> you know, 0.1 gram, 0 0.05 grams. I mean, you know, give me a break. There's our yield from 25 grams of gold fingers. Or 25 grams of gold fingers that came from RAM that had BGA chips. BGA chips only, not these flat packs. Okay, we don't even... I'll, I'll harvest these flat packs eventually, but... Now, we haven't processed the full pound. Okay. So are we going to make a profit? Uh, uh, I doubt it. Alright, the last batch has been processed. We're going to be working with 17.1 uh, grams of gold fingers on this one. Not a lot. We want to harvest this up and then tally it up. So we're going to get it in the juice. All right, we just finished this thing up, and uh, we got the tally in for the one pound buy of RAM. We got a little bit better scale here. It's not a lab grade scale, but it's a little better. We know our ratios of what we had. It takes us right out to eight grams total, but this bottle weighed 7.2 grams. So we have a 0.8 grams that we have in there. And the yield for that pound was 0 0.499, or half a gram. Half a gram of what we're calling 20 karat gold. And, you know, it's probably going to be a mixed bag, we're sure. Okay. But 0 0.499 grams, call it half. Works out today right around $23 worth of gold. We pay $26.45, $26.45 for the pound of RAM. Comes out to $23 worth of gold, plus the harvest of BGA chips, which is, I think, 44.55 grams. And uh, roughly that works out, if that was 5 grams, we sold uh, 500 grams of these for $50, $55, give or take. There's about $4.50 worth of chips in here. So, you know, simple math dictates, and I love simple math, that, wow, we made a profit of $1.35. Don't, $1.05. Stop right there. You're never going to get spot value out of this. You can call it 20K, say it tested 20K. All you want, you're not going to get 20K prices from this. Okay? You're going to get 12K prices for this. So, no, we didn't make a profit because they're not going to pay you spot 20K prices, which today would have been uh, right around $23. Okay, they're going to pay you about $17. You're going to get maybe $15 to $17 out of this. And you might get 5 bucks out of this. So you still didn't make a profit. But you got close. Next. So, close, but no cigar. Next, we have the, uh, the 200 gram Goldfinger buy, which I paid $60, right at $60 for. That is a four gram bottle. We have 1.29 grams of gold fulls that tested at 20K. 1.29 grams. That, that's, that's close. That's a $60. Uh, 
That's around sixty dollars worth of gold. It's fifty-eight dollars, I think, today in spot prices. You're still not gonna get spot value for it. You might get twenty-five bucks, thirty bucks out of this. Okay, so I mean, still half, but you're not making a profit. Okay, sorry. We come close, but no profit. So you got to keep looking for that niche. Now, you're not going to make a living doing this. It's a hobby. It's a labor of love doing this stuff. But, sorry, no profit. In the next part, we're going to be processing these 50 pieces of laptop RAM, one gigabyte. Each have eight of the BGA chips on it. We paid $30, $31.40 for this, $31.40, okay? This is going to be mighty close to being able to say profit or not a profit. So this is our next, our next go. We'll be processing this next. 